Hello everyone and welcome to the reference sources demonstration video. Since we're using reference sources for the first time, I wanted to give an introduction on how to search for them and how to use them. In the actual assignment, I have links to the reference databases at the library. So you can click these links, log in, and then search them. But I'll also show you how you can find them from the library homepage. On the library homepage, we're going to go to Articles and Databases. And then we're going to go to Database by Subject. Databases by Subject organize databases together based on what content are in them. We're going to go to the list Miscellaneous Reference Sources. These resources have a lot of reference material in them, but I would highly recommend only using the ones that I've listed in the assignment because some of these are going to be more useful for your needs in this assignment than others. Just as an example, I'm going to search Credo Reference. Just like the other databases, we can type in our keywords using Boolean operators, phrase searching, and so forth. But you're probably only going to have to use phrase searching and maybe an AND, depending on what your topic is. Now all of my results from this database, since it is a reference database, are going to be encyclopedia articles and other reference sources. You're going to want to pick one that has a decent amount of information. So if you look at my first two results here, Emotional Intelligence from the Encyclopedia of Applied Psychology is a little over 3,000 words. That's probably a good length to give me an introduction to the topic. Whereas the next one, which is from Elsevier's Dictionary of Psychological Theories, is only 435 words. That's probably not enough for me to get a good understanding of this topic. You may also find that you need to search multiple different reference databases before you find the one that works best for your particular topic. If you are having some trouble, please contact me. I'll be happy to work through it with you. For the assignment, we also have to use an online reference source, meaning something that comes from a website or an e-resource outside of our library. The most common one will probably be Wikipedia. I know that most people don't want you to use Wikipedia, but my stance on it is, just like any encyclopedia, this is a good place to get started. It's not the place that you would end your research. So as long as you're using Wikipedia as a means of gaining information to then go do more specific searching, I think it's fine to use. Another example might be a website like this from Psych Central. This is a brief web page overview of what emotional intelligence is, but it's not published in a periodical article or a book. It is just a web page. Government web pages and professional association web pages are also good choices for reference sources. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you do need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact me.